Good morning. Well, hello. My name is Hello and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and I'm so excited for today. I'm doing a face off challenge with the one and only creator of the face off palette bingo challenge and it's Danielle Schmidt. I'll have a link down below. She, I've been watching her for a long time. She is such a fantastic creator. It was really sad to see her not be on the platform for a while and now to see her come back is super exciting. I'm so glad. So I asked her to she was keen to do this palette bingo collab looked at the palettes we had in common and um i forgot the menagerie cosmetics feral palette which i've just been too scared to touch so this is the perfect time to force myself into touching it and i'm feeling a bit ambitious i don't know anyway these are the shades that we have got today allium night eyes fenris ivy and who 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 are she? Mm. Who chera? Who chera? Maybe I'll get it. I don't know. Let's find out. Anyway, let's get cracking. I'm gonna put the Smashbox lid primer on my lids as our base for today's look. If you're interested, as usual, most of the time I do try and do it most of the time, but my all the things that are on my face will be listed down below in that lovely description box. I have been working still on comparing all my eyeshadow primers, which I'm excited to bring to you, but I am still maybe like three quarters of the way through. And it's going to take me a while. <laughs> Let's just say that. But I'm excited for when I finally finish it and get it out there. So I'm going to go in with Ivy. This palette is heavy. I don't know if I want to keep holding it for this whole time. Oh, uh, it's, um, just because I'm a little bit lighter. It's a hard to use palette. Oh, and yes. Hit it. Alright, so now this is where it's going to get like a little bit more complicated for my brain. But I'm going to bring it a bit more winged out. Because what I'm going to do is to try and do a full cut crease and just see how that goes. Where should we end it? Mm. I think where we are. Alright, and then let's just clean this brush off and go into Fenris. Fenri. The one next. And I'm going to blend out the top with that shade. As you can see, I'm already doing it. Just gonna go back in a little bit with ivy and build this up i've had this image in my head for like all week because i've been doing the same boring look all week and i've been wanting to put a yellow so we're gonna use night eyes just in my inner corner and I, it's like all i've wanted to do i don't know do you ever get moments like that where you're like i need to do this i feel like i dreamt about it i feel like it was just necessary This is what I wanted. Yeah. Let's just blend these two together a little bit. So they're a bit more friendly. Voila. Alright. Now it's time to cut the crease. I'm going to go into Anastasia Beverly Hills. A primer. And so we have a dream. Oh yes we do. This primer just goes so far it's crazy. So first I'm going to start. I guess I should line the bottom and see where it decides it wants to crease. So I guess we're stuck. So Danielle is such a sweetheart. I actually don't know how I came across her originally, but I love watching her channel. And if you are from there, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out today. I hope you enjoy what I'm attempting to do. And if you watch my channel but haven't heard of Danielle, please go check her out because she is just a sweetheart and she deserves, she deserves you to go check it out. And I'm so curious to see what she did with these shades because I don't know, like when I got it, I was, I initially thought it was like, oh my God, this is going to be so, such a green look. 
uh, because there's three greens in it, which I mean, I don't mind. But then it sort of became something else. So I'm curious what she will do. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. And then she does some really cool content on her channel. She does a lot of tags, some of the Three Looks One palette videos, and is just all around a wholesome human being. Alright, I think I got like my first like full proper cut crease. Did I mention this is my first time doing this? Like a full one. Did I even get it right? I don't know. Let me know. Alright. And then I'm gonna try something I've never tried again. And this is the Hu Hoi Hoi Shiro shade. I'm gonna put that and I'm gonna try and see how I go lining it across like the top of where I've creased. I think it needs a little bit of wetness. Just a smidge. What do we think? Did I do okay? This is taking so much concentration for me. Whew. I feel like I'm breathing in. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, did I mention like the towel on my head? I was, um, I will do my hair at the end. All right, I just, it needs more time to dry. What shade do we have left? I like already forgot. The purple. All right, so we're going with Allium. On the lid. Oh my God, that is what? I love this shade so much. Oh my god. Wow. Alright, so I'm just going to use this big brush to do sort of the big area. And then I'm going to go in with a smaller packing brush. And then digging in with my Suva 350. And see how small that little teeny weeny one is? Oh my god, I'm feeling so proud of myself right now. Do you guys ever have these moments where you're like, what? I just did this to my eyes. Alright, we did get a bit of fallout though. Well, that's cool. That's chill. I'm okay with it. Let's just see if we can get rid of it nicely. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god. Alright, so underneath my eye, I'm going to go in with Allium a bit more. This time I'm using the off crease brush. Cleaning this brush off, let's put Ivy underneath my eye. Alright, then I think we just need a little bit of Fenris. Just doing a little bit off here. Yeah. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Flower Liner. I'm not so bad at fucking all up now. Alright, on the waterline. Some crazy fun. What should we do? I think let's check Crust from Colour Pop on. And then uh, Mascara. I feel like all one comb hypnose in doll eyes. Alright, we used all the shades. I'm pretty happy with myself. I think I did okay. What do you reckon? I mean it's not perfect. But for having never done this kind of look before, I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked. Alright, so I'm gonna go off finish my hair and then I shall return looking a little bit more polished. All right, here is the finished look. Sorry, I thought my hair was gonna be more dry to deal with, but it's not. Anyway, thank you so much, Danielle, for doing this look with me. I put on my Menagerie lip in Aptation. And I thought it was just like a nice vampy look to go with it. I was so honored to do this collab with the OG creator of the palette bingo face off, Danielle, you are 
a genius for this whole uh, concept. I hope you enjoyed the, today's video and seeing me try a full crack crease for the first time. Uh, let me know what you think of the look I created. I'd absolutely love to know what you think. If it's your first time here, I'd love it if you would consider subscribing or checking out some of my other videos. Make sure to go check out Danielle's video if you haven't yet to see what kind of look she created with the same colors because I'm so excited to see what she did. It's just, oh my god, I'm watching. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you.